What's up guys, I'm back with another video, and today, I know I say this a lot, but I'm excited for today's video. <laughs> I'm staring at what I have in store for today's video, and it's pretty crazy. It took me a long one day to think about this idea, and I'm pretty confident that this is going to be a good video, but I'm not going to make, make you wait any longer. <sighs> Here's what I have in store for today's video, guys. <laughs> So, <laughs> like we did for the Monster Jam, I jacked up the ramp using 2 by 4s and then to add on to that idea, I put a cinder block at the bottom and then jacked it up a little bit. And then as you can see over here, it started to get very like bendy. So what I did was put a brick there and that really, really stabled it out. And right here, guys, is to make the ramp a bit steeper because if I just jacked it up all right here, it wouldn't be as steep. And if I had this on, I'm going to get a lot more air, guys. And with this, as you can see, it's just two pieces of plywood that we cut. And um, I just have some spare 2 by 4s and some boards here. And I set them on. It seems pretty stable not gonna lie i was actually questioning this part of the idea because i didn't know if these boards are gonna fall down but if i have to adjust it after each jump that's just what's gonna happen so <laughs> i'm actually pretty excited for today's video and so without further ado i guess let's get into it um i'm gonna have the camera that i'm holding mounted onto the ramp so i can get a pretty cool angle of it going off but we'll see how that turns out in today's video but yes, guys, the Monster Jam jumps were cool. And I was actually able to get some pretty nice air just with this plywood set up against that tire. But I think that I'm going to get a lot of air in today's video. Hopefully nothing breaks. But um, I think it's going to be a good time. All right, so I'm not going to do any build up. I'm doing it right now. I'm going to start with a medium run up. Then hopefully, if everything goes right, I'm gonna run up from there all the way to the ramp. So I'm gonna get a pretty cool angle. Then eventually I'll get some angles of it going off the ramp so you can see it from this side too. But um, for right now, I'm gonna get this angle. All right, so the beast is on. Oh. All I have to say is this is just not, this probably isn't the greatest of ideas. I just gotta mess with the trim real quick, guys. Oh, and I also like to mention, the Beast is actually on a full battery, so uh, that's definitely a plus. I'm just gonna start, see if there's anything wrong. Perfect! Guys, it can climb that. That was barely any throttle. I gotta get a back view because I like to be behind the RC car while it's going. Okay, let's go. Oh wait, I started veering. Oh wait, I started veering. Okay, I started to veer. That is gonna be cool. This is gonna be epic. Oh, that's, oh, ring. Why didn't I just take the Typhon 6S off this ramp? And honestly, guys, I didn't do it just for the sole factor of the Typhon's just going to go to the minute. It's just, it's going to go way too far. <laughs> and um, it, it, it would be a little bit crazy, but um, I don't know. I'll think about that one. But for right now, while I'm getting used to this ramp, I am going to be using the Beast for right now. But um, maybe eventually, possibly the Typhon 6S. I'm not sure yet. So I guess let's just, I'm just gonna full throttle from here. I, I feel like it's still like veering a bit. It's hard to get it perfectly straight. Okay. Oh! Best jump yet. Let's get a little bit more of a run up now that we're used to it. Bit more of a run up. 
What? Oh my gosh. Guys, it's like you see this stuff on YouTube all the time of people jumping these RC cars, but then once you see it in person, <laughs> that's a little bit crazy. The beast is still chugging along though. Guess let's just send it again. Oh! Oh! Sorry, beast. Oh. I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't know what happened there. It just like just rammed into a piece of wood, but it had enough clearance to get it. I have to rewatch the footage and see what happened there. Like, look how wobbly the wheel is. Like, what? And guys, you can actually over tighten these tires because um, the other day I actually tried to tighten the tires up and it didn't work out because the tire was way over tightened and the tire didn't really want to spin that much. So I guess I'm going to have to deal with the wobbling as much as I don't want to. Oh my gosh, like just any little hit will make it do any stunt. Oh my gosh, like just... Oh! Oh! Lost the pen. I'm not gonna look forever, guys. I got a video to film. This is why I don't like pins, cause I mean, I like how Arma has it like attached to the plastics. There we go, found it. I like how Arma has it attached to the plastics, but guys, it, when they're not attached to the plastics, it just, it doesn't quite work out. <laughs> I hate to say it, it just doesn't work out. Oh! Not gonna lie, the shocks are actually doing pretty good. Oh! 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 You good, GoPro? That's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, the shocks aren't doing too bad. For only having 35 weight in them, they're not bad. Oh! All right, guys, so this camera right here is kind of bothering me when it's like right there. So we're gonna get this camera on a tripod and I'll be right back. All right, so I got a tripod set up. That'll give a better angle and so you guys can actually see the jump from the other side. So let's hope this looks good on camera and uh, let's hope I can actually get a straight run up. So warm up jump. Yeah, I'm sending it. I'm sending it. I'm so I don't want this video to get too repetitive, guys, of me just going off the ramp, going off the ramp. So I'm only just going to show, I have a lot more footage to edit, so I'm only just going to show, like, the best jumps and all that. So if I do fail, that won't be in there. So I'm just going to roll all the good clips. So let's get into it.
just nailed a front flip. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I had a lot of fun with this ramp. The only pain was having to move the plywood back and forth every single time like I hit it hard. So yeah, I don't know how it looks on this camera yet. Um, I hope it looks pretty sick. I know from the back it looked pretty darn cool. But I can't be like right here doing it because guys, when I'm controlling an RC car, I have to be behind it. And I could be doing a flyby, but when I'm trying to line up with something, it's just too hard to be doing that. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoyed the ramp. Um, that was pretty fun. Like I said, it was just a pain anytime I flipped having to run to it. It was also a pain having to constantly adjust the plywood. But then again, I was already running over here to flip my RC car back over. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Merch will be first link in description. And guys, if you want to see some more Mr. Neil TV content, click the link in description that, that I'll have right next to it called Second Channel. Guys, it is going to it's my second channel. I already have a video up on there about fixing Max's RC car. So go watch that. And that'll be in that'll be on the second channel, guys. So hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So, fun fact, um, as you probably can tell by that outro, I actually said that I already have one video up on there on the second channel. I actually have two up because I filmed this video like early May, maybe mid May, but I never really got around to editing it because it was a pain trying to switch from camera to camera to camera to camera. With the RC car videos, it's just it, it, there's not a lot of motivation to edit them because they just take they just take absolutely forever to edit and so there's not a lot of motivation to just keep editing those but um I will continue to obviously make RC car videos it's just hard when like I have another RC car video that I'm that I have to edit and post but um expect that probably around next week because I've actually been editing that one guys it's going to be a good one I actually took the Typhon 6S out for a rip with the new tires on there. And um, so, yeah, it's kind of hard to edit trying to switch between me and Max's camera. But with this case and this video, trying to switch from camera to camera. And obviously, when I'm driving these RC cars, I get a little bit carried away. I film for like sometimes like 30, to 30 minutes to like an hour at a time. So some of the videos turn out like I have to edit like a lot. But um, with quad riding videos, it is definitely a lot easier. So, But I do have another video that will be going up that I have been sitting on for quite a bit now. But um, it will be probably going up next week. I'll get around to editing that, finishing up the editing. So yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Merch first link down in description. And if you want, to miss, if you want more Mr. Neil TV content, click the link down in description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.